Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's RTC TV4 coverage, where the uh, cast and comments are hosting the Culver Cavaliers. I'm Blair Zimmerman, joined on the other uh, headset tonight by Kagan Slocum. How are you doing, Kagan? I'm doing good. How are you? I am doing great. Now, uh, for everybody at home who can't see us, uh, Kagan is pulling double duty here, so hopefully... Hopefully you're able to uh, keep book and talk to us because you're the one who has a clue what's going on down there on the mat. Gosh, I hope I do too. <laughs> so, and uh, we've got Autumn over here on the camera, which should be fairly, fairly straightforward here tonight. Uh, I, I don't have, I, I don't have a lot of opportunity to get out to the wrestling matches, uh, but. I always enjoy it when I do, so uh, looking forward to uh, seeing the comments, uh, hopefully pull out some pins here tonight. Um, I talked to a few of the guys, and I know last Saturday they did reasonably well with, uh, we had uh, we had several winning records off of the day, and then Jackson Music won his weight class, mm -hmm. so uh, hopefully they can carry that momentum into tonight's matches. Yeah, and it seems like it's going to be a pretty evenly matched event. There's the same amount of forfeits, double forfeits. We start off on a double forfeit, but most of our guys have a match. Awesome. Um, now, how about Aiden? Is he is he going to be able to uh, take one of those forfeits tonight? Or yes, he is, and he's excited about it. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I felt so bad for him when he uh, got that knee tweak during football season. Yeah. And it's it's always hard to see an athlete. Who wants to work hard? Who's out on an injury? Um, he seems to be making a quick recovery, though, and uh, hopefully things will work out for him to actually get some match time before the season ends. Yeah, it's always a tragedy seeing someone lose their senior season, and especially carrying on to the spe the season where they're really passionate about it. Oh, absolutely. Uh, wrestling is the sport that Aiden talks about year round. Mm -hmm. uh, he does he does well in football. He does well in track, but he loves wrestling. Um, whoever introduced him to it did the right thing there. I think that was his cousin, Braden Moss. Oh, I could see that. He talks about Braden a lot. Yeah. Well, we have a few minutes here before the uh, matches get underway, so we're going to take a moment and thank our sponsors. Uh, so stay tuned. You are watching Casting Comets Wrestling on RTC TV4. Tippy's Pizza in Winnemac is your local stop for fresh out of the oven pizza and ice cold drinks. Whether you're just stopping by for a drink or bringing the whole family in for dinner, Tippy's Pizza is the place to go where the drinks flow as smoothly as the river. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, The Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit The Winning Edge today. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. Hi, I'm John Oliver with some great news if you're shopping for a pre-owned F-150 or Ford Escape. Two of America's best-selling vehicles, and right now we have an incredible lineup to choose from. These are all local trades, so the history is no mystery. No Canadian units here, F-150s and Escapes, all priced to sell, all Oliver Ford Lincoln certified. So get more for your money and more for your trade with Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free Checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we appreciate your referrals. Refer your friends to open a Simply Free Checking account. When your friend opens a checking account, you can both receive a free gift. It's easy as one, two, three. Simply Free Checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. All it takes is $50 to open the account with no minimum balance and no monthly service fees. 
For a limited time, you will also receive a free gift just for opening the account. And with Instant Issue, we can give you a debit card right when you open your account, giving you immediate access to your funds. Simply free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we enjoy helping first-time home buyers. And with our premier first-time home buyer program, there's no private mortgage insurance cost. Only as little as 5% down is required for this program. Talk with one of our experienced mortgage lenders and let us help you purchase your first home. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. At Oliver Ford, we reach beyond your dealership expectation, help you in making fun decisions on your new vehicle, or let it try our professional touch by our service and parts department. We are the only Indiana new and used car dealership that has won the President Award 17 times. With over 100 years of sales experience, we're here to hold your hand from start to finish with no pressure or gimmicks. Contact us today. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like the uh, guys are off the mat talking some strategy with coaches. Getting ready to get out here and get this underway. Yeah, and as I've said before, the first meet match of the night is at the 160 pound, which is going to be a double forfeit. Now, I've seen plenty of entertaining wrestling stories of my time, but one of my favorite was my freshman year was when we played against Culver. Uh -huh. And Sam Duvall is going to hate me for saying this story. But he wrestled Alex McBee, who was like a three-time semi-state qualifier. <laughs> and he got pinned in six seconds. Wow. It was like the whistle blew off and boom. He was on the mat. I mean, I felt bad, but I was it was so humorous for me. Well, I remember last year uh, during the Super 6, he was wrestling, I think it was Alex Cartwright. Um. I don't even remember what school Alex goes to, mm -hmm. uh, but he's just, he's a big guy, but very relatively low body fat percentage for a heavyweight. Yeah. And he had, he had Sam bodily off the mat and the look on Sam's face was like, <laughs> this is not where I'm supposed to be right now. It was, it, um, it was kind of entertaining. Yeah. Uh, at the McKee invite, oh, looks like we're starting at the 170 with Aiden Sarver as our forfeit giving us six points. Next up will be 182, Gavin Hickel. He'll have a forfeit as well. Kind of surprises me they don't have anybody in that 182 weight class. You'd think they'd have someone in uh, the upper weight classes. Especially with it, they look to have quite a few guys out here in, in singlets. So Yeah, that's what's baffling me. Maybe they didn't make weigh-in or something. Well, that could be. That gives 12 points for Kasten. Now at 195, we have Dylan Gearhart and Kevin Bailey. But while they're getting ready, I'll talk about the... It was the John McKeamy at Rochester, and Sam faced off Adam Bowman from McConaughey. He's a really good wrestler, mm -hmm. and he had him on his back for about five, six seconds. <laughs> and it was... My dad started cheering. He was like, go, Sam, go! And it was probably the greatest moment in history. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's had a few really cool moments in his a athletic career that mm -hmm. most people wouldn't credit him for. Things like that, that touchdown. That touchdown at Culver. At Culver. Oh, and I just noticed our camera's still a little out of level. We'll get that fixed. And the wrestling commences. We have Dylan Gearhart sprawling to keep Bailey from. Is that. And that's takedown two. He's able to keep Bailey from escaping. Yeah. 
And they'll return to the center of the mat as they're out of bounds. Bailey will have the chance to earn a point for an escape. Dylan wrapping up that foot. Yeah, it seems he does not want Bailey to get that extra point. And he's rolling him on his back. Can he do it? Nope. And Bailey is able to get the escape. Gearhart once again sprawls. And he gets the takedown. Forty seconds left in the period. And can he turn him on his back? He has him on his back. Oh, but it was out of bounds. But that's a near fall too. Giving Gearhart six points and Bailey one. That was a really strong bridge that that Bailey was able to put up there. It was. Mm -hmm. I was like, to wrestle in the heavyweight, you have to be strong because you have someone exactly the same weight as you, putting that pressure maybe right. even more. Right. And that's the end of the period. Dylan leads with six points. Dylan will start down. Nearly got the spin out. He's on his feet and he's escaped. That was a reversal too. Take down two. Ooh, Dylan. Oh, and that was a reversal from Bailey. Dylan put himself in a bad position there, nearly got himself pinned. And yeah. It, it was nothing that Bailey did for it. That's the dangerous thing about being so close on your back. If you yeah. fall, someone can just... Take that reversal and get you pinned. Once again, Dylan's able to save himself from being pinned. Yeah, bellied out. And can he, can he lift that arm just to get it over Bailey's back? And he's able to. Giving Dylan a reversal. Can he keep him on his back? Do not. <laughs> yeah, he nearly got he nearly got tumbled over. Yeah, it goes for a near fall three. We'll have, we might have a little bit more passion having the manager up here with a headset on. Yeah, I tend to say things to myself. <laughs> as long as they're not FCC violations, we're all good. Oh, no, I usually try to keep clean. <laughs> 20 seconds left in the period. Yeah, and this is... I mean, he's winning by... Ten points. Ten. He only needs five to get a tech. <laughs> and that's the end of the second period. Can he get the takedown? Can he keep his face?
90 seconds left in the match. Was that an illegal procedure there on Dylan, or? That might have just been a stalemate. Oh, okay. How's this time thing? There's three, two, one. Can he keep Bailey from escaping? He puts him back on his belly. Seems like Bailey's having a hard time getting out from Gerhardt's grasp. Dylan doing a great job just keeping him wrapped up. Oh, it seems like he hit, locked his hands on his head. Yeah. It's a point there for Bailey. Yep. Whoops. I've talked about this before, but I, I could see where that would be a hard habit to break because it's a natural thing. I want to keep a hold of this. I'm going to get the best grip I can. Mm -hmm. And so you've got to fight that natural. Yeah. I, I just need to keep a hold of this. Under a minute left. As long as Dylan can keep him on his stomach and maybe even his back. Oh, and once again, Gearheart locked hands. <laughs> you hear the Culver coaches. They're quite adamant. Well, uh, you know, it's not uncommon for us to be able to hear uh, Coach Evans tutelage up here on the mic either. Yeah, it's just... They have a passion for it. Oh, absolutely. That's why they're coaching. And as a coach on the side, it's real easy to see what an athlete's not doing correctly or is doing correctly. Yeah. Under 30 seconds now. You just got to be careful not to end up on his back. 17 now. Keeps him on his stomach. He needs to go to the other side and roll him on his back. Yeah, but in three seconds, he's got it on points. Oh, yeah, three seconds. <laughs> I lost track of time. And there we go. In Thir the end, 13 to 5. 13 5 victory for Gearhart there. That gives Dylan four points. A well fought match between the two of them. Next up is the one, the 220 class with Jackson Music and Ben Lee. Once again, Jackson winning his weight class last Saturday. In his freshman year, Jackson Music qualified for regionals off of injury default, but he was a regional qualifier nonetheless. Hey, you know how it goes. A win's a win. <laughs> yep. What? Very aggressive start to the match. Very. Whoa. He just needs to get behind him to get the takedown and get him on his stomach again. Wow, another violent throw. Lee's got him sprawled out. That's escape one. And out of bounds. Wrapping up again, wrestling for control. Jackson once again sprawls to keep base. And out of bounds again.
And Jackson comes out with the takedown. Just trying to torque him over and get that shoulder blade down. He has him on down. his back. He's got 40 seconds left in the period, and that's a pin at a minute, 22 seconds. <laughs> math is hard. You'd think in wrestling I wouldn't have to do math. Next up is 285. There will be a forfeit from Caston, so Culver's Drake Gross will have the forfeit. Now we're starting back at 106. That was a double forfeit, so this should be... Next up is 126. Austin Degg will be wrestling Trent Fritter. At the Winamax Super 6 over Saturday, Austin went 3-2. and two. Pretty solid record. Yeah. Gets control of that leg. Take down two. He keeps him. Looks like he's going for the leg. If he can lift him. He grabs an ankle and switches sides. minute left in the period. Starts working on that wrist and ankle control. Yep. Oh, and he loses his grip just for a slight second, but enough for Fritter to get back up. Will Fritter get the escape? Hasn't managed it yet. And he gets the escape. Austin's able to take him over once again. And he just needs to drive. Do not get the rope. Do not. Get. Couple close calls with Austin almost getting on his back. But overall he seems to be leading with four to one. Reversal. Wow, that was fast. That was nice. He did that quite smoothly. Normally they go for escapes, but that was just yeah. up and at him. Now all he needs to do is drive. I'm not the best with wrestling terminology. I try to know what I'm saying, but it never comes to fruition. Hey, don't worry about it. If it's bad enough, the guys are going to let you know about it. Oh, yeah. You'd think four years with the team, I'd, have, I'd be a pro. Austin with that ankle control, working on a roll. Grab the ankle. Minute left in the period. Oh, 
Do not let him get the reversal. Dig maintaining control so far. If he gets even, he'll have the takedown. Only 30 seconds left. Seems to be locking hands. And that gives Fritter his second point. And that's the end of the second period. Austin with a four-point four advantage going into the third. Austin chooses up. Gets that ankle control. bad position. Deggs really had control so far the first five minutes of this match. Yeah. And Fritter seems to have gotten him on his back. But he might, start to say, he might but be able he to might get, Did he just kick the ref? <laughs> Fritter just kicked the ref. That's humorous. <laughs> Ref was in just a bad position. But it seems that Austin will get the reversal if he just crosses over. Austin maybe going for a cradle there. Fritter bell bellied back out though. He's got three seconds. I mean, thirty. Fifteen. And Austin's got him on his back. And that's the match. That's near fall three. Next up is Caden Webb and Ian Brown for 132. able to take over. Take down. Caden's just a quick athletic guy. He is. That's one thing. I, I guess I never realized how quick he was until football season when he, he just out of nowhere ran down mm -hmm. ran down a running back. I just yeah. saw a reversal two and then an escape one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, during foot. Yeah, 
And so say, how is this not out of bounds? Yeah, during football, there would be one of the offensive players just running down to either get a first down or a touchdown, and then all of a sudden, choom, like yeah. a little bullet, he's coming by. Oh, Webb on his back. Manages to get back over to his knees. Escape one. I saw a reversal two go up too. Ooh, whoopsies. Thirty-five seconds left in the period. Take down two. Webb on his back. His shoulders aren't on the mat. No, he shrimped out pretty quick. Near fall three. Saved by the bell. Another near fall. Looks to be a two. There should be another near fall on there. Well, I thought that there was a reversal for Caden early in the match that didn't get put up on the board, but... I know, my scoring's then, a little off right now. Uh, well, everything happens so quickly... Mm -hmm. in this match. I mean, the <laughs> the refs over there trying to get things scored out with, or straightened out with the scorer's table. Yeah. So I think there should have been another near fall, like right before the period ended. Like, not the... What? <laughs> yep. And they're calling Kagan down to the scorer's table. Well, while they're getting this straightened out, we're going to step away for this word from our sponsors. Stay tuned. You're watching Caston and Culver Wrestling on Caston TV on RTC TV4. First Federal Savings Bank has provided mortgage loans for over 50 years, and now we're offering commercial lending. Are you looking to purchase commercial real estate, equipment, or open a business line of credit? First Federal Savings Bank is your locally owned community bank for all your business banking needs. Contact Lindy Breeden, our business lending expert, to take the worry out of your business banking. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Let RTC TV4 highlight your business or service in our local sports coverage. Through our platform, you have the option to use a 30-second commercial that you already have, or you can have us make a 15-second logo sponsorship for you. With eight local schools in our partnership, we're sure you'll reach your intended audience. Sponsor with RTC TV4 today. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com. At Co-Alliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer-owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. Co-Alliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact Co-Alliance today.
Save money when you switch your home phone service to VoIP from RTC. Everyone knows that RTC Fiber Communication is the area's leading provider of high-speed fiber optic internet service. Now, RTC can help save you money on your monthly phone bill by switching your phone over to the internet with VoIP. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. And welcome back, folks. Uh, second period just got underway. Well, we've got a near fall situation here. Uh, we did have a takedown two there for Culver. Reversal two for Caden Webb. Um, and as you can see on the scoreboard, um, after they got the points squared away, we did have a few more points go Culver's way uh, for the first period. Two more points, Culver. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> hey, welcome back, Kagan. Thank you. I'm doing my best to not mess up the uh, commentary. Near fall two, is that what that is? I hope so. Would that be for red? That'd be for red. That'd be for red. Giving him 17 points. I think I'm missing something else besides my shoe. I lost my shoe. <laughs> we had a reversal for Caden. Puts us up 9-17. to 17. We, uh, The points have been going up on the scoreboard as the referee gestures. So He has him on his back. Caden with that elbow up. Or shoulder. Other elbow. He needs the bridge. Thirty seconds. He's got to do something, and That's there's a, a pin. pin. That'd be two minutes, thirty-one seconds. That was an exciting match. Lots and lots going on. Yes. Including me losing my shoe. <laughs> this is the 138. Ethan Thomas for Culver will have the forfeit. Now is the 145. Nolan Fields and Ashton McCarthy will be facing off. A little shoulder slapping action. No one wrapping up. I hear Culver's coach is calling out head smash. <laughs> 30 seconds into the match and we've yet to have a takedown. No one's put on a good bit of size this year. Yeah. I also must be because he is going into the Marines upon graduation. Okay. So he's doing PT. Still wrapped up and on their feet. No one getting a hold of a leg. And does Nolan have the takedown? He did. Takedown two. And he roll. gets him on his back. Can you keep him there? Can you keep him there? Rolled past. Ref is counting. No one's struggling to get that other shoulder down. And there's the That's pin. That's a pin. A minute 47. Is six. Next up are just is a double forfeit from 152. So the unofficial score should be 
plus 6 is 21. 21, 21 plus 4 is 25. 25 plus 6 is 31. Kasten wins by one point. Wow. That is the unofficial scoring, but that's, that's very good. Very, very close meet. And I'm going to go confer with the refs right now. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to let her confirm with the officials, and um, we'll, roll some, uh, we'll roll some more uh, advertisements from our sponsors. We really thank them for their, uh, for their support. And we will have final scoring when we come back. You're watching Kasten and Culver Wrestling on Kasten TV on RTC TV4. Enjoy full screen television viewing of the new RTC TV4 family of networks anywhere you are with our new Roku channel. Simply purchase a Roku device from RTC or any Roku retailer, connect to your in-home Wi-Fi, then download the RTC TV4 channel. It's that easy. Watch all of our live channels 24-7 for free or subscribe to view all of our videos at your convenience. The RTC TV4 channel on Roku, another great service from RTC. RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can watch for free. Just download the mobile app, our new Roku channel, or online at www.rtctv4.com. The RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today. The RTC TV4 family of networks allows you to watch nine local television channels dedicated to coverage of our schools and our communities directly on your mobile device through our new app. Just look up RTC TV4 at the App Store or the Google Play Store. There is no cost to download the app or cost to view the live channels. With a paid subscription, you can also view any of our past videos on demand whenever you want. Download the app today and start watching. Slow download, constant buffering, Wi-Fi dead zone? Let RTC help. The customer support team at RTC Communications is here to help you with your internet connectivity. Hi, I'm Bonnie, one of the support team members here at RTC. For a small fee, RTC offers a Wi-Fi health check where we will evaluate your in-home Wi-Fi network and assist you with common issues. See what RTC can do for you. Give us a call today. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer a wide variety of services for our customers. We offer a variety of deposit products such as personal and business accounts. We pride ourselves in being one of the top mortgage lenders in Indiana. We offer commercial lending and business checking to help with your business banking needs. Through LPL Financial, our financial services department is here to help you with your financial planning needs. Come see us today and see how our family can help your family. Upgrading your RTC internet can really rev up your Wi-Fi. Here's why. Wi-Fi is a stream of data flowing through your home, and each online device removes a portion of that data, which can slow you down. Luckily, small changes make a big difference. First, choose the fiber internet speed that's right for you. Upgrade to a whole home mesh Wi-Fi network and secure your network with a password. Contact RTC Fiber Communications to get your Wi-Fi up to speed. Neighbors help each other. It's how our community works. And it's how we do business at RTC. We know you count on us for fiber internet, TV, and phone service. Backed by friendly local support. Your hard-earned dollars stay right here as we invest in our community, our people, and smart technology. RTC Fiber Communications. We're your hometown communications provider, working hard to be a good neighbor. Ever wonder why your local TV bill keeps going up? The bulk of these increases are due to rising network fees. A few powerful media companies dictate what TV providers must pay to offer their channels to you. And every time networks demand more money, that affects what you pay every month. If TV providers don't meet their demands, networks threaten blackouts. 
Since 1999, these network fees have increased by three and a half times the rate of inflation. To see what we're doing to keep network fees in check, visit TVOnMySide.com. There's been a lot of talk lately about net neutrality. At RTC, our customers receive the full and open internet, and nothing less. We are not the gatekeeper, toll operator, or curator. A free and open internet has been the single biggest driver of innovation over the last generation, and we want that engine of innovation to live on in our customers. If you ever have a question about your internet service, give RTC a call. We are here for you. think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Kagan just got back up from the scorer's table, uh, confirming books with the Culver coaches, and final score is... 31-24, Kasten. Wow, that was, a, that was a wider gap than, than you had, so yeah, even there better. Yeah, there were some even discrepancies. Better. All right, well, congratulations to the Comets. Uh, did I hear that so far they've got a... a uh, sure. Like I heard 4-0 or, no or something like that. 4-0? Like, is that our current record? I'm I, not I, sure. I heard that from one of the fans. So, And I know you've had some obligations that have kept you away. From yeah. As a matter of fact, you won't be able to join me Saturday for the Super 6. So, uh, well, commentary may be a little subpar, ladies and gentlemen. Or uh, we may just go with some crowd noise. The Super 6 is always a good time. There's always a lot going on. Uh, so definitely join us Saturday morning. Uh, first matches are scheduled to start at 9 a.m. Uh, we're going to wrap it up for this uh, wrestling coverage and join us back here at 7.30 to catch the cast and varsity girls playing the uh, North Miami. North Miami, yeah. So uh, thanks for joining us and uh, tune back in here in about an hour and 15 minutes. This has been a Cast and Comments Wrestling on Cast and TV on RTC TV4.